Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to share with you how I store my beads. So I'm going to break this video down into three parts. One is storing seed beads, and this can be used for seed beads, delicas, um, super duos, mini duos, bugle beads, you know, any small bead. Then I'm going to do the next clip on fire polish, and the final clip is going to be on storing additional beads. Now you don't have to have the dollar bead box or dollar bead bag to store your beads this way. I'm just using their beads as an example. So a couple things. One, this is all about storage for me. So how you display your beads, whether you display them on the wall, hanging on the wall, hanging on pegboard, um, whether you display them on your your desk, whether you display them in, a, in you know in a um, dresser or an armoire, you know that's different. But this is how to get things stored so that when you look for a bead, you're going to find it and you're going to be inspired. I mean, I'm, I love all my beads, but I'm not inspired when I look at this. But I will be inspired once I break everything down and store it. All right, so um, I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get started on our storage. Okay, let's get started storing some seed beads. So when I purchase my, like my main color seed bead that I use a lot of, I purchase in bulk. So I'll get a 100 gram bag, 50 gram bag, 150 gram bag, and I'll break it down and I'll store them in these little tubes. So my favorite tubes are by Beadsmith. I love them. Um, and I buy six inch tubes and I buy three inch tubes. And this is what I use to store my seed beads. But it doesn't have to be just seed beads. I store my O beads, my bugle beads, my drop beads, <laughs> my super duos, um, these six by four millimeter drops. I store those in tubes. Everything everything small I store in tubes. All right, so I'm going to push those aside. And here's my bag of seed beads. And here's my one of my favorite pieces of equipment, which is my jewelry scale. So I'm going to turn that on. Okay, and when I break this down and I fill these tubes, I really want to know the weight, the gram weight of what's inside here. Because if I need five grams of seed beads to make a project or 10 grams, I don't know how much that is. Uh, you know, so if I know how much is in this full tube, I can pretty much figure out, you know, how much how much is, if I have half a tube, I can figure out how much I have in there and if, if I have enough to complete a project. So it's always good to do that to weigh because if you notice when you get your seed beads, it's always in a gram, you know, a gram weight. All right, so here I've turned my scale on and I'm at zero and I have it set on grams. It's that little G right there. Let me pull a teeny bit more. I'm going to weigh the tube because I don't want the weight of the tube included. So I'm going to weigh the tube. This tube is a little over two grams. And there's something called a tear button. And when I press that, that subtracts the weight of the tube from my full weight once I put the beads in there. So that won't be included in the final weight. So I'm just going to move this the scale aside. Now I'm going to fill the tube. So here's my tube. Here's my bag of beads. And this is pretty easy just to, I do it over a mat or a board. And I fill it up. Like so. And I don't fill it all the way. I fill it just to the bottom of where the cap ends inside. Because that if I fill it all the way and I jam jam it closed, when I open it, they're just gonna fly all over the place. So that's what I do. And go back to my scale. And my scale is still at it's going to subtract 2.02 grams. So when I put this on, the weight is going to be. 13 grams, a little over 13 grams, and that is without the extra two grams for the tube. All right, so I know when I pick up this tube, this has 13 grams of seed beads in it. And if I need six grams, I know I have enough. So if I just have this tube left over, if I need 12 grams, I know I'm going to make it because this is it's 13, a little bit over 13 grams in here. So that's what I do. And then I, ha I have these baskets, and if you saw my video, let me pull out, on my studio, you'll know that I have lots of, I have shelving units around my studio, and I store everything in baskets, and these are about seven and a half inches by, I think, 10 or 11 inches, and they're lined inside with kind of this linen, and I label them, and you'll see that my labeler on the, <laughs> in the next clip, and then I take my seed beads, and I make a label, so here is, uh, here are some labels. These are Avery labels, and they're removable, and they're one inch by one and a half inches. 
and I just write on it what's inside the tube. So sometimes you can just peel this label off and it peels off beautifully and you can just put it on the tube. But it's not, that didn't work for me this time, so I just wrote on the label, Miyuki, and the number, and the name, and 13 grams. I'm going to peel that off. I'm going to place it right on my tube. Make sure I press that down really well. And now I know exactly what I have in this tube. Then I take all the tubes that I've done, and I put them in a bag. And this bag is from the, actually, the um, dollar bead bag bags. So that's an extra bag that I had. And I just put them in the bag, I put them in my basket, and I put them on my shelf. Now, I have uh, like several layers of protection for my beads because I have cats and, you know, I can't hang things on the wall and I can't, I don't leave things just laying around. I have everything stored. But this, this is open enough so that I can see exactly what I have. When I need a silver bead, I'll just grab that. Here's a gold bead. You know, so it's perfect for me. This works out great. If you, you know, don't have animals that you have to worry about, you can get a, ba a basket that has partitions in it and then just put all your tubes in there or, you know, or just lay them in there, whichever you like best. But this works best for me. So actually, I'll just leave that there. So this is exactly how I store my seed beads and my small beads. And um, we're going to move on and we're going to do some fire polish beads. Okay, let's store some fire polish beads. Now you don't have to have the dollar bead bag to use this system. I use this for all my beads, but I'm just using the dollar bead bag for reference here. So here's my March dollar bead bag. Here are my beads. I have some of these jewelry labels and these little sticky labels that you fold over like so. And I have some regular labels. So I've taken my beads out and what I did is I just took one of the jewelry labels and I labeled it March 2021. So I know that this strand uh, is from March of 2021. Now if you want to go a step further and put the color on you could do that as well. Some people just cut this out and attach it kind of like this with a piece of tape. You know, whichever works best for you, but identifying them is probably the best thing to do. Now, I haven't done this on every strand. I've done it on, you know, I, I need to go back and do more, but this works out great. So that way you've identified it. Most of the time when I get my dollar bead bag, I, I decide what I'm going to purchase. It's like out of this one, I would probably purchase these three, and I'd get maybe 10 strands of each, and then the rest will, I will use as... Um, you know, accent beads. And if I need it, I have the month and year labeled and I can take a look and see if it's there. All right, so put this aside for a moment. So then what I do, this is, so this is how I store everything. So it's inspiring to me. I store everything in these bins and these are plastic bins. Let me pull my beads over here. And they are called from Art Bin. And I store everything by color. I just love looking at color. That's what inspires me most. So if I have, you know, $10 bead bags all, you know, just piled up and not separated by color, I, you know, it's like, it's too confusing. I need to, I need to be able to focus. So if I need a blue bead and I want, I want two blue fire polish beads and I want one that's a transparent crystal and one that's an opaque luster. Look at that. I have the two beads right here. Perfect. If I want to, you know, use a blue and a green together. How gorgeous is that? So this to me is so inspiring to to open this box. And I have another box with the black and white in it. Um, and it's so inspiring me to open, inspiring for me to open this box. And if I need a neutral here, look at all these beautiful neutrals, golds and such that I have. So I've taken my, my, um, where's my, oh, here's my strand that I labeled. Okay, here, so March 2021, and I'm just going to pop it in there. And now I have it in its green container. And I do this with all my 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 6 millimeter, whatever I have, I do it all. And I just separate everything by color. Now, some people take all these strands, they do exact same thing, and they hang them on pegboard in their studio. And that is so beautiful to do that, to, so that you're just looking at them and you have these gorgeous, this gorgeous rainbow of color hanging on your pegboard. And I think that's a great idea. Um, I have cats, so I'm, you know, I have a little extra layer of protection. So I keep everything in these bas in these boxes. So that's how I, how I store them. And then, let me put my lights out of the way. There we go. 
I label everything with my labeler. And I'm just going to show you my labeler. You, oh, before I do that, I take this um, paper and I put it in the bag. And I have 12 of these for, for the whole year in the bag. And so if, when I need to refer back to it, I have them all in one bag. They all fit in one, one of the bags. So that works out perfectly. So here, let me show you my labeler. I am a like an office, office supply freak. <laughs> I love to organize and label things. So I, I want to um, make another label for my next other box of fire polish beads. So you just turn it on, you type in your, you know, fire polish beads and then you print and it comes right out. Like so. I love this thing. My hubby bought this for me. It's probably for our anniversary. I always ask for office supplies or beading supplies. All right, so here's my fire polish bead. You just peel it off, stick it on your box, and there you have this great label. And it peels off when you, you don't want to take it off. So don't forget to turn it off because you'll kill your batteries. However, you don't need this. This is, you know, just a whole lot of fun to have. You can use your Avery labels to label your boxes. And that's what I did for a very long time until I got this as a gifty. And then I went crazy and I started labeling everything. So I label all my chatons, I label all, label all my Rivoli boxes, you name it, Super Duo box, you name it, I label it. All right, so that's how I do my fire polish beads. Come on back and we'll do some additional beads. Okay, we're getting there. So we're gonna do additional items or just any items that you want to store. So I'm again, I'm using the dollar bead box items. So is this what you have? at least three, maybe even six or seven boxes where they're just closed and they're just filled with beads and you don't know what's in there. This is what I do. I'm gonna, here's my box. So I've taken things out. So here's every, here's everything that's in my bead box. Um, I've taken out a strand and an additional item. I take my letter. What you can do here um, is you can cut out this part right here, fold it over and attach it to the end of a strand. I've just taken one of my jewel those little jewelry tags and I put March 2021. This is the Blue Appetite Color with Bronze Luster. It's a pinch bead. You can add that on um, to be a little bit more detailed if you like. I'm fine with just putting the month and the year. And then I go to the additional items. So here I have my uh, Chinese crystal cut rectangles, 4 by 8 millimeter turquoise rainbow iris. That's this bead. I just take that little card out and I write on the back the month, the year, and exactly what's in that bag. That way I know exactly what's there. I take this and I file it along with all my other months. I put a paper clip, clip on it, a paper clip them together, and then I file it in my file. And then just like I did with my fire polish beads. I have a box sorted by color. So let me move my lights again and I use my labeler or the Avery labels to label the box like that. And here I have all my blue beads. So I'm going to take my appetite strand. I'm going to pop it in there. And isn't this, I mean, isn't this inspiring to see all these beads? You can actually see them. And look how pretty, look at these beautiful drops. So if you're looking for something, or if you just, you know, you need an idea of something, all you have to do is open your box and take a look at all the beautiful beads you have here. So look, we even have these um, crystal cut rectangles in this blue too. So I mean, really, really pretty. So I would take everything, put it in its box, and then label it, and this goes away. Easy enough. Here, I'll just give you a quick look at my green box, and I'll um, put the, these in the, green in the green box. So here are the crystal cut rectangles, and these are that more greenish color. So now I know I have a blue and a green. So that's kind of cool. You can really put those two together, and they look great. So inspiring. At least it really is. I love separating by color. I love sorting things. And here are all my strands. So this is exactly what I do. Again, label it. I have a one box for each color. Um, that I have of, of the beads. And if I don't have enough color for one box, I put two colors in a box until one fills up and then I move that. So it's a process. You know, it's a living process that keeps going on and on. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some good ideas on how to store your beads and how to be inspired by looking at what you've stored. 
have a blast, um, you know, storing your beads. Post on fa Facebook where you store your beads and how you store them. Put pictures in. I think it would be so great for us to get ideas from each other. I have a very, very functional storage in my little studio, but you can go crazy with storage. But I just love the idea of, of um, sorting everything by color and um, having all that color to look at. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.